So two months ago, I picked up Canon's C70, hoping that it could be my run and gun, pretty much multi-purpose use camera. Now, as some of you guys maybe know, a couple weeks before that, I had actually just bought the Red Komodo. And so now after having these cameras, each for a little over two months. Here are my thoughts on owning a C70, even though I already own a red Komodo. What's good, creative fam? Now, I have been shooting with this camera a lot, and in honestly, a lot of different situations. In fact, this camera has become a little bit more diversified than what I originally planned on it being. So first, let's talk about where I find myself using this camera the most, and that is in a lot of my quick run and gun stuff. This camera literally has everything you need built into it, which really makes me find myself in a lot of situations where I'm kind of running and trying to go get something shot real quick, and I don't wanna spend a whole lot of time like prepping, and so I just find myself gravitating over to the C70. The fact that it has built-in NDs, it has autofocus, it has built-in XLRs, I mean, I don't really rig this camera out at all all and so because of that i find myself just grabbing it a battery throwing it in the bag and knowing that pretty much everything i need for my production is in the camera itself another area that i was actually really surprised how well it worked was actually using this camera as a b camera to my red komodo now i've talked about this in past videos but when i initially got these two cameras to me they just had two totally different looks that didn't really complement each other very well but now after having them both for a little while and actually editing with them side by side, I find that these two cameras have a very similar look and they can be graded to look the same and to work the same. And that is something that I've really enjoyed with these two cameras is the fact that I can use them both on the same set. So it's kind of nice that one could be an A cam, one could be a B cam, and they kind of can be interchangeable in that workflow. Now, speaking of workflow, this actually lends to one of my favorite things that I've kind of touched on about this camera is the fact that I have not bought any accessories for this camera. And I and I, I mean that. I mean, I really haven't bought any accessories. I already had the EF to RF adapter from my EOS R camera, and I just kind of converted that over to the C70. So it's nice that I have that one little adapter, which I think runs about 100 bucks. But then other than that and some SD cards, I haven't had to buy a cage, an, ex an extra battery, any type of rail or cage system or top handle or any of those things for this camera. I mean, it's really kind of different for me. Like with my Red Komodo, I have completely rigged this camera out. It has base plates and it has top handles and it has monitors and it has V-mounts and a whole solution package around it, which means I have to bring all that stuff out with me when I go shoot with that camera. But when it comes to the C70, over the last two months, I haven't purchased any accessories for it, which means that like it is one of those cameras that after you buy it, there's really not a whole bunch of extra costs that come along with it. That being said, I do love the fact that it did come with a top handle, which I didn't really use a lot in the first couple weeks of having it, but now after using it a little bit more, I do find myself bringing that top handle out even more, just because I love the fact that it has a shotgun mount, microphone mount built into it. This has actually become really helpful with kind of some run and gun workflow and just having a very high quality mic on the front of this camera allows me to get good audio when I'm out and about. Now over the two months of shooting with this camera, it hasn't been all gravy. There have been a few struggles that I found myself running into. One of the first ones is the autofocus. Now we kind of talked about this in my full review on this camera and it really hasn't gotten any better because Canon hasn't done any software updates, but the autofocus on face tracking for people of color in low light situations really hasn't gotten any better. Now I will say that I have figured out that like you have to make sure that your subject is properly exposed and there are certain lenses that work better than others but I will say that this is still a continued problem that I have with this camera. So if I am ever doing any low light shooting, I do still find myself shooting 100% in manual focus. The other thing is that this camera does technically have tracking, but I've also found that that tracking isn't that great. Now, setting up the tracking is kind of a little bit of a difficult process. It's not incredibly hard, but there is an additional step. So there's not a pre-mapped button for tracking, but you can go into the settings and actually assign one of the many buttons on the camera to actually be your tracking button. So you have to do that first. So I just assigned uh, button 11, which is kind of on the front of the camera. 
and then you use your joystick to get over the subject that you want to track. You press in the button and then you're ready to go. Now this is not as easy as it is like on Canon's mirrorless cameras, which is what I would really prefer to see here. I would prefer to see that autofocus system from the mirrorless cameras make their way onto the cinema cameras. I've seen that with the Sony's, with the Sony FX3, how great the autofocus is on that cinema camera. And they borrowed that information from the mirrorless world but we're not really seeing that happen here on Canon's. And the last big struggle, and it's maybe because I got a little spoiled with the FX3, is the fact that this camera can't take a photo, like, at all. And I know it's a cinema camera, I know what everyone's gonna say, like, oh, cinema cameras are not supposed to take photos, but you don't understand how many times I find myself in a situation where I wish I could just take one still. I mean, even the Blackmagic cameras can take a photo, the Sony cinema cameras can at least take a photo. I really wish that this C70 could just take a single photo. I'm not looking for autofocus with it. I'm not looking for any crazy burst shooting with it. I just wanna be able to take a frame because so many times as a YouTube content creator or just content creator in general, you just wanna be able to take a quick photo. And anytime I'm out with a C70, if I know I'm gonna to wanna to take a picture, that means I'm most likely gonna to have to bring a secondary camera in order to take that step. Snapshot. Now I think one of the biggest questions that I get with having this camera is all about like how this camera works in my personal workflow with all the other cameras that I have. As I've mentioned before, I currently own Black Magics, I own a C70, I own a Red Komodo, and a couple other mirrorless cameras. And when you have a lot of cameras like this, people are always asking like, well, why do you go to this camera over the others? And here's pretty much what I find that works for me with the C70. The C70 is probably the first camera that I grab on my way out the door to go shoot anything. And that's just because of how versatile it is. I mean, I've brought it out on client projects. Uh, because of the swivel screen, it's perfect for YouTube and like filming yourself. And the fact that it has autofocus and built-in NDs means that you don't have to bring a lot of extra stuff and it just makes it easier to film yourself. In fact, I've even found myself vlogging on this camera from time to time. It's completely ridiculous. I'm not saying this is a vlogging camera, but it's nice to know that if I needed to, I could do that. And it's just one of those cameras that just allows you to get everything you need, but you're also getting it with an amazing image quality. I mean, today with how good all cameras are, and I'm serious, I mean that, I really feel like all cameras, like if you were to message me and ask me, is this a good camera? If it's come out in at least the last two years, yes, it's a good camera. So in today's world where all the cameras are really good, what you're really paying for with a lot of these cameras is just the functionality. And as far as I'm concerned, no camera out right now has better functionality than the C70. And the last question that I get the most is, well then, is this better than the red? And I keep answering this question, but here is basically what it comes down to. The red to me, and this is just a personal preference, still has the better image. As far as like what I'm looking at on the screen, once it's all captured, to me the red still has the better image overall. However, there is something to the functionality of the C70. As I said already, I own both cameras, so it's hard for me to say if I could only have one, which one would I go with? If I'm being 100% honest and I couldn't afford both cameras, I would probably still find myself leaning towards the red just because I am leaning that way as far as the way my business is going because I want to start shooting more narratives, more features, that kind of work. However, if I wasn't looking into doing narratives and I was just creating content for the internet, for YouTube, Instagram, TikToks, whatever, things like that, I would probably lean between these two cameras more towards the C70 because it's just so functional. I mean, the screws on all sides that allow you to shoot vertically or horizontally, the fact that you have buttons all the way around it that you can map it in order to film super easily, the touchscreen on it that allows you to quickly move your focus point or even to be able to just change settings, and the fact that this thing produces such a beautiful image all in a price point that makes it where you don't even have to buy additional accessories, makes it the perfect content creation camera when it comes to doing video. Like I said, the only thing that's really holding it back from being just the overall perfect content creation camera is the fact that it really can't take photos. But 
That's my personal opinion on it. I have absolutely loved working with this camera. Over the two months, I'm even stronger believing that this is probably the perfect camera for most creators out there, especially if you wanna live in the Canon ecosystem. But that's just one man's opinion. I strongly recommend that you guys consider renting this camera because I do believe, just like with me, if you rent this camera, you're probably gonna fall in love with it and then you'll know for sure if it's something that you should buy. But thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you have any additional questions about the C70, leave those down below and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.